How often do you think about inmate weapons? Do you report to work and take over your duty station and think about inmate weapons? I know there's a lot to think about, but remember, safety is a choice you make. And there are weapons hidden all over our jails and prisons. So you have to keep that on your mind every day. I wanted to do a short video just to let everybody remember now, there's a lot of dangers surrounding us. You have to know your surroundings. Keeping safe in your mind will save you. Because keeping safe in your mind lets you role play things that could happen, makes you look around. You have to know what's going on. You can't just come in to work as hard as it is. These 16 hour shifts are killing the folks in Florida. They're working uh, 16 hours straight, many of them. Uh, asked to do it more more than once a week, and you really get tired, and I know that, but you have to somehow keep your strength and awareness, because awareness will save you, okay? Be a safe hero. Correctional officers are unsung heroes, and you have to be safe. Do you think about where the inmates are hiding weapons? Are you having time during your shift to do any contraband searches to help prevent weapons. The reason I'm asking instead of saying we must do contraband searches is because staff shortages are killing us, double shifts are killing us, but we have to find time to save ourselves and protect ourselves. Now we all know inmates have weapons hidden to protect themselves from other inmates, but don't think that they won't use those weapons on an officer as inmates have done many times before. You have to be aware of inmate weapons. You have to be alert. You have to think about what you're doing when you walk around the prison compound, the dorms, the jail hallways, the jail pods. You have to be alert and know what's going on, okay? Because if you're not alert and you're not keeping safety in mind, you're not keeping yourself safe, okay? I've added uh, some captions as we go along here of the weapons that inmates use, of the injuries and what they look like when inmates use these weapons, either on another inmate or a, or a prison staff member. Please, take heed. I wanted to just throw this out there for a friendly reminder. If you're not thinking about inmate weapons, not thinking about inmate contraband, You've got to get on the ball and start thinking about it. And hopefully these photos are a reminder of what can happen when you're not being alert and you're not keeping safety in mind. Please stay safe, everybody. Gary York, True Prison Stories. Watch out, get that contraband, and be aware.